What are you doing? Hey. Wait, are we coming through? Hello, can you hear me? I have no idea what that was. My camera's been glitching out so much more than usual and I can't quite explain it. Come on, control it. So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back to another episode of the Battington Tape. So it looks like you've returned, huh? Unless this was accidentally your first video in the series. It's part three, by the way. Now, in this series, we have been checking out a series made by Battington known as Harmony and Horror and trying to understand the story that's wrapped within this thing because it's pretty detailed. It's got some crazy concepts. If you want to even try and familiarize yourself with what's going down, playlist down below, dude. Don't skip this. It's kind of wild, and I'm excited for this one because this series is very captivating as much as it is terrible. Terrifying. Freak out, my. What are you doing? You know, it has been really cool to see you guys also enjoying though the reaction stuff as much as you are. I mean, I did the VHS tapes about a year ago, and the response was insane. But it is good to see that me and you still share that common interest of reacting to this stuff, guys. I want to get started with this. This is the Battington tapes harmony and horror. Let's do this. If you want that final episode, yeah, I think you know exactly what to do. All right, guys. This first one here is called Rebirth. Nice and simple. Now the name says a lot about what might be going down, and we know that Martin's been up to some fishy things. Rebirth. Huh? Maybe we'll get to see a bit more about that ceremony that he's been doing so consistently and how it works out. Uh, wait, hold up. Is this Sophia's room? Wait, no, 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 no. Another character? Maybe like a super young child? Uh, what's with this camera pan? No idea, yeah. We see a baby crib right there. I'm not sure if that's a lullaby or if he's like adding that thing, you know, like, oh, great father, look, he's looking after his kid. Yeah, I don't believe that for one moment. What was he doing? Why was that camera panning left and right? I mean, perhaps he was keeping an eye on his daughter. Maybe he was set up with the camera and it was like panning, you know, some cameras do that security. <gasps> Who's this man? Okay, enough staring, more talking picture. What you got to say? Grey Winder? Mr. Stewart? Mr. Stewart. Do you know why you're here today? Listen for the voices. Does it have anything to do with me and harming my family? Stewart, Martin Stewart? Your son? No. Okay. Although I hope we don't have to have that talk with you again. What do you mean? Oh. Uh, no. So wait, hang on Martin, a second. You're a great businessman. Martin Stewart, we got his and name. I've been told that you're a great brother. Uh, by who? Because my brother, you know... Mom. I don't think he's with us now. My son loves your toys. So he's well he known. He loves your show. Very well known. Which is why we are here. Mm-hmm. The Harmony Broadcast Incident. Wait, what? No. Harmony Broadcast? No. Huh. You told us in the past that your show was hacked. Okay, okay. That's what someone who does do shady crap would say. Correct. Yeah, right. Hold up. Hold like, he's already said about him, like, harming his son. He's clearly confessed to Mr. Greywinder or whatever his name was. Then he tries to lie and say that his show was hacked. Do you even need to try and hide that by this point when you've confessed to her and your own family? Even though we are still on that This case, man is just riddled with crap, guys. What is it about? This isn't about the incident. What more? What is it about? This is about your intern, Mr. Greywinder. Intern? Huh. The whereabouts of Amy. Amy? Ooh, that was one of the girls, right? It showed up. Why is this tape just cut to silence, though? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're taking that back. Did you see what that morphed to? Look at that. There's so many hints being thrown at us now. Martin really is the clown character that we always see. That short morph? Yeah, that is not coincidental. You sly devil. Uh, can I talk now? You know what, guys? We'll let him have his flashing moment. Oh! I don't want to see this no more, man. Oh, that's kind of... No, 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 no. Wait, it was the same eyes. It was the same eyes. What on earth is this? Ah. Uh, yo, what the heck is going on down here? I have no idea right now, guys. It's like two blocks, a square and a rectangle, and darkness sitting behind it all. Like... What the freak is this box? Don't you dare jump scare me! Oh! Oh! Hold on. Yo, that's messed up. This whole thing is so messed up! Oh! What is- Oh! Is that his kid? 
It might be trying to link up his kid, though. That would be kind of jacked up if so. Mine, come on, man. Did he change his kid into also one of the things? Oh my gosh. You see the clown pictures posted up on the wall too. That crib looks empty. Uh, wait, was that door open before? I can't remember though. Oh my gosh, that door is wide open, man. Dog, there's a case behind it. Anything could be looking within, seeing us. Whilst we do not see it, this don't sit right. Oh, we see you, sir. You ain't hiding no more. What, what's the matter, huh? Who are you? Why are you made of metal? Wait, is that Bonzo? Yo, that was Bonzo. Oh, gosh. Was this before the incident with his daughter? What led up to it? Oh, Bonzo, come on, man. He's getting closer. It's like Foxy, when you don't look at him, he moves forward, you know? Oh, my goodness. Well, he's close, though. He's very close to the crib. So, <laughs> Yo, come on, Bonzo. Think. You ain't thinking, though, are you, huh? Once you're in that form, I don't think he knows what else to do. This is feeling inevitable. Now, he's looking in that crib, man. Just on the 1% chance it don't happen. Um, my fingers are crossed. I am hoping that Bonzo transforms back into the push toy he was before. You know, before he, you know, kills someone. Bonzo, please. Bonzo! Don't do it, bud! Don't do it! Come on. There's gotta be something in you that says it's the wrong thing to do. Now, if I see him with blood in his face, I'm binning this animatronic. He's going straight in the trash on collect. Imagine putting a microphone to bed. This is what Bonzo sees, though. Wait. I'm? You see the picture on the wall? What is that creepy? I'm sorry, Ava. I have to be a good boy. He's doing what he's been told. I don't know you that much. But I know you feed me treats. You pet me. There's a choice! You loved me, Ada. Or Ava. I'm so sorry, little one. Wait, does it give us the choice to click? Don't put this choice in our hands, come on. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It puts the choice in our hands. I'm gonna do what I would have done. You could tell Bonzo had remorse in him, but he's gonna get some repercussions for doing this, right? Or even not doing this. What will those repercussions be? Because I got a bad feeling that it's gonna be not such a good time for Bonzo now. Someone's overseeing this poor guy. Shall not kill. Okay. I can respect that. Why's it gotta be red? With the texture? Why can't we have some, like, you know, nice bright colors? So, this is the instance where Bonzo, he realizes it was the wrong thing. So Bonzo does have a conscience, and he can actually think for himself. I thought he was strictly acting on what his master told him, which, to be honest, he might be. You know? Because Martin did that, and he was like, oh, Bonzo responds to him. In this instance, it might not be canon, but it might still be interesting to see what happens and if there's repercussions for Bonzo. See that doorway. Oh, it's mine! Yo! Mine went in on him! Um... That don't seem good. You disobeyed me. Ooh, this is mine talking. I knew you were broken. Come on, dude. There's something I'm missing. What might that be, ah? Uh, I was so close. This is my thinking back in his experiment, like, just missed it. But it's not my fault. 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 Yeah, you keep telling yourself that, sir. Yeah, the devil ain't happy with you now. I think. Uh, ew. Why is that kid gonna be crying, though? If you jump scare me, clown, I'm actually, I'm literally putting my fist out, so you're gonna jump into that thing, okay? I don't know what's gonna happen here. He obviously wasn't happy with Bonzo. It looked like he took him down. So we gotta see, though. Woo! All right. We still hear that kid upset. Here we go. Are you ready? Yeah, brace yourself, guys, okay? Embrace! We got away! As much as I don't want to do this, you gotta see which one's canon when it comes to this, right? 
I'm not sure really what happened with the clown. Or should I even say Martin, because we know he's the clown at the end of that last sequence. So that one is a little bit confusing at the moment. But... Let's see. You hear that siren in the back, though? Oh! It's the interference that was on the show, right? The same sounds that were coming through. So this is Bonzo now. Is he remorseful? Does he have anything to say about for what he's done? Because this feels kind of like Bonzo's trapped and he doesn't want to do this, but he has to obey Martin. Because if he doesn't, he knows he's going to be killed also, dismembered, taken apart, and never be allowed to live again. Is the trade worth it? Huh, Bonzo? Is the trade worth it? Oh! Whoa! Uh, yeah, just a small bit of your mask missing? You know, it looks like a frontal lobe missing. Hold up, bio 87? Hold up, fraud? Nah, seriously. He took a nice nibble out of that guy's forehead, though, right, guys? Straight in the center. You know, at least you'll have a symmetrical scar. You did it. You see how the text is yellow now? It's like, maybe Bonzo, this is what he sees in his head. You listen to me. Like, this music's oddly happy. You obeyed me. Yeah, he did, because he was too scared. You're loyal. Yep. You're faithful. All right, man, you don't have to shower us with compliments. You're just what he said you'd be. Oh, okay. All right. You're a monster. All right, okay, can we chill with that? And the best part is... You're my monster. Hold up, look at this. Oh, uh, I didn't do it. I mean, is he shifting blame? You did. It's your own daughter, though. Are you serious? It's all your fault. What the? How are your teeth so perfect, though? You got Invisalign? What? Oh, stop with that laughter. You're the one that told us to do it. Second degree, influencing. You're to blame, Martin. We're going to be passing it your... Yeah, the laughter kicking in. Yeah, he is not about to believe that. He's gone insane. Like, even if you were to tell him, like, you still told him to do it, he would probably in his mind see that it's still not his fault. Unreasonable. You can't even try and reason with that dude. That's insane. All right, guys. Now, this next one is simply called Harmony and Horror Teaser. I don't know if this is actually in with the story, but the developer did make this. So let's see. Your eyes show you only what you wish to see. Like, maybe this is going to help us along with, like, theorizing things or figuring things out. Your eyes are broken. Trying to say that what we see, if your eyes tell you a lie. Yeah, he butted in with that one, though. How much of the world do you really know? All right, Battington. You're trying to freak me out. You know, I see how you're doing this. No problem, no problem. I'm at peace. Mildly at peace. Losing it, not gonna lie. Uh, wait, whoa, 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 what is this? Oh, Sophia? The scribbles on the back. Is that Arthur, I think his name was? There's his brother. We see that. We see that. There's Bonzo, the dog. Would have been that kid's dog. Hey, man, is that with that grin? What the heck? Yeah, there you go. That suits you more, you clown. Wow. I mean, Guinness World Record, like, uh, put Coke can in the jaw, like, you know? Now I am become death. All right, Yoda, the destroyer of worlds. Wait, whoa, whoa, what? What do you mean? Destroyer of worlds? Who the heck's talking right now? Sound's going down. I am scared. Too much darkness. Not enough things on screen. What happens next? That is a very good question. What does happen next? I am curious. What the heck? Why have I got a delivery? I guess this is more of a celebration of thank you to the 33,000 How Many and Horror fans. Guys, check this out now. This is what we like to see. 143,000, okay? Keep the subscribers going to this guy, man. I can't wait for season two of this thing. It's a fantastic way of creating a story, and I love this sort of stuff, man. Like, being able to react to it and the developers being cool with it, it's such a nice thing to be able to do. Well, let's get this dude to at least 150k. Come on, guys. All right, guys. Now, this next one is called Through Broken Windows, I believe. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, through broken windows. Okay. What? Um. Yo, what the heck? This actually. Yo, I gotta pause instantly. What the heck was that? We're taking this frame by frame. What on earth? Look at that collectively. It's like that's the ice cream, that's the brother. That must be also the young kid. I don't know who the other one is right there. Look at that. That is freaky. I hate this though. I love it. Let's go. 
Yeah, this is cool. This is a cool one. There's no subtitles on this one, guys, so I apologize if they talk. We're just gonna have to listen a lot more. Is he gonna talk? Um, because right now we're just having some kind of stare down. And like, when you stare down with a picture, the picture wins because like, it's a frozen mo- mo whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, what the heck is that? Like, warping within the picture? Ooh. Is that an ear? It looks like an ear. Yo, what the? What on earth am I seeing? Oh. Oh. <laughs> nah. Oh, this is making me feel weird. What the heck is going on? Yo, the, nah, man, this is weird. Um, are we done here? Yes, but we're also not with the freak. Is that the devil it was like, that Mike was working with? Or is that Bon? Wait, hold on, hold on. Who is this? We're being quiet, we're listening. Whenever I talk... Hearing my thoughts, I think. Hold up, we'd be quiet. Hold up. Let's hear it from What the freak are you, are you talking to me or yourself though? Like, what's going down? Say Ooh. hello to Bonzo! <sighs> Was this the hack? That happened? Bonzo is your new best friend! This might be the He's hack! A lovable trained companion! Look at the blood in the eye! Watch as he does everything we say! Okay. Bonzo, sit! This don't feel right. This feels so awkward, like the whole Bonzo, thing. Bonzo, stay! He was already doing both those things before, you liar! Bonzo, stay quiet! What? Great job, Bonzo! What the heck? Oh! <laughs> This is awesome, man. I love this. Dang. So, this is the young boy, I think. Mm. Or what once was the young boy. What the heck happened to your face, dude? Um, I want a toy? I've been such a good boy. Okay. Bro, you too much caffeine? Oh. This whole thing. Is so weird to watch. He's just on the side there twitching out. Is he getting louder? I think he is. Oh, okay, okay. I hear you. I'm not the toy maker. Oh. He's your pal. He's your friend. He'll stick with you till the end. What Say hello to this? Henry the Dummy! Henry the Dummy? Henry I called him out them, listener. my bad. He'll listen to all your troubles and worries. Henry is a little shy, but okay. that's okay. You because sure? he only speaks when spoken to. Isn't that right, Henry? Henry only speaks when spoken to. the freak's out in the back? Oh. Oh my, I just started to tear up. <laughs> shut this down, shut this down. <laughs> Shut this whole thing down. No, I don't want a memory. Oh. Bro. This is ridiculous. I'm literally about to start crying, man. I ain't just saying this, man. It's ridiculous. All right, who's this woodchopper? Look at that beard, though. Respect. Is that the... Maybe this is the brother. It looks like his face has been mangled. And this, I mean, I could say this sounds like an ice cream van lullaby or something, but I don't know. Dude, I'm having to literally dap the tears or wipe the tears away from my eyes. That was insane. That was really, really eerie to watch. What's he doing? He's singing in vowels. What's it? What, you play too much Sims? What is this? What's this language? 
I don't know what you said. You don't have to get close. I can hear you fine. I don't know what he's saying, guys. Down in the comments if you know. Eyes are gonna tear up. Do you know the ice cream man? Tears are gonna stream down my face. There it goes. Yep. There it goes. There it goes. I'm not pausing the ice again. Cream man is a lovable, kind I'm not pausing soul. again. We keep going. Isn't that right, ice cream? This is the creepiest episode That's right. I've ever Hello, seen. Everyone. I'm the ice cream man. Yeah, you know Have what? You I don't like you. Dream? One filled with colors and brought you joy? Nah. Nah. Me too. I'm I said nah. I'm so very happy to see you follow your passion. Okay. But just remember, kids, dreams can be forgotten. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. nightmares I last forever. This dude needs to literally get a new catchphrase. Uh, where's he go? Maybe he's gone to get one? Uh, hello? But nightmares last forever. Oh! His nightmares? Oh, yeah. Look at the face, though. Oh, my goodness. It's insane, though. That's, like, tragic. I said I won't pause, but I can't help it, man. Look at this thing. I don't want to see this thing. I don't. Is this Sophia? Or what remains? Maybe a lullaby? I don't know. This is just weird ambience and like imagery I didn't want to see when I started recording this video. What did I expect though? All right, now she gets closer. She wants a what? A nice bike? A lullaby. Ah. This is what she told Martin. Oh. Let's go. Can you hear that, children? Oh, yeah, that was some bars. I wonder bars. who it could be. Okay, let's go is again. Is it Bonzo? No, no. Come on. Is it Henry? No. <laughs> You're right. Know it, is. it must be Sophia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sophia what can I is say? a great friend. She'll the sing, sing for you whenever you're in need. Isn't awesome. that right, Sophia? Let's hear them bars. Sophia? Bars! Hit, hit the beat. She's singing real quick, though. And in reverse. Oh. It's like a glitchy version of her. Let's end this. Let's end this sequence, please. Is she saying mama? I think she might be saying mama. Yeah, she is. She's calling for a mom. Oh, that's kind of sad. There's so much story in all of this, though. So much story. How's this gonna end, then? Because this black screen is gonna transition to something else. What's hiding in the darkness? What is it? I don't see it, but I know it's coming, guys. There he is. It's the ice cream man. Staring. Oh, there's like a bear head in the top left. You see that? What the heck? Interesting. I don't know what that's supposed to imply. There's all the Henrys. Are they all alive? I still want to know. I don't know if we'll ever know, though. There's Sophia. There she is. And there's multiple in the back. So there's, like, many of these that have been made by Martin. He mass-produced these things. There she is on the wall. She wants that lullaby, huh? She wants that lullaby. Never got it. Never got it. The clown, the jack-in-the-box. To represent Martin? Like the unpredictability of him, maybe? 
and it literally just freezes like that. That's it. Yeah, it seems like the episodes, they more back up the happenings. It kind of reinforces, like, we knew what went down and how Martin had taken down his family, but we didn't know how. Now we're slowly starting to learn how Martin used Bonzo to do his work, but then Martin would shift the blame to Bonzo entirely, saying that he did it. It wasn't mine. It's nothing to do with him, not his fault. I think for the main storyline, we're going to leave that here, guys, but there is one more tape that I want to watch. It's not canon to the Harmony and Horror, but it does feature my good friend Baz, so I am interested, because he's been made into an animatronic in this universe. Let's see it! The fact that my friend became an evil entity in this universe. Welcome back. I noticed you all enjoyed the found footage from last episode. Wait, hold up. Am I supposed to be reading this? So just as you've all been waiting for... I was able to dig up more found footage. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this is like being... Bad, are you good down there? I came across another urban legend. Holy crap! This one was said to be another doll or toy. It had a rubber face and a plush body with gloves and shoes. Rubber face? It was found in an abandoned sewer in England after a man named Ryan went on an exploration through the sewer. Wait, did- Me?! He brought it home with him when he was- Alright, man! Okay! He was gone. My computer has been glitching lately. Sorry for any glitches. Here is the footage of the toy displayed for the auction. Bazathon 1984 annual auction? Wait, hang on! Hey, that toy cleaned up nicely! Bazathon 1984 annual auction? 19th century children's doll? It's got that rubber head! Okay, fabric stuffed body with child drawings. Okay, blood. The f Believe to it induce irrational fears that one's been exist for. What the f. Are you okay there? Nah, he ain't good. Baz, I'm sorry I couldn't help you, man. How did they even lock this soul in there? Factory. I was thinking, like, he looks like he's in factory apparel. But maybe he's just escaped. Ugh. Is this his beat? Okay. It's always with these, like, old-timey songs. You wanna not just stand there though, Baz? Like, you wanna- you wanna kill me or something? Yeah, he's just gonna stand there and look at us. I mean, I can't judge him, we're doing the same thing, right? We're literally just stood there filming him. I have no idea. Oh, the lichens. Uh-oh. You are not afraid of Is that- I think that's actually Baz's voice. Okay. You are not afraid of the sea. Oh. You fear the creatures within it. Interesting. You are not afraid of the knife. You fear the blood that will run. This is dark, you man. You are not afraid of the dark. What am I scared of? The monsters within it? You fear the man. The man? The dark. I mean, kind of close-ish. I mean, you're the man in the dark at the minute, you know? Like... Oh, no, that's the man in the dark. Who the... What the heck? Just emerging... Oh! Guys, if you see this doll, put that thing in the fire immediately. You don't want it. You don't need it. Oh! What's he doing? Is he crawling around the sewers? You know what? I think I'll be happy just not thinking about that and leaving that one there. Let's just remember this version of Baz, okay? Baz has actually reacted to a load of banks and stuff already, guys. So if you want to see his take on what he's seen and what his theories are, you can check his channel out for sure. This was another episode on Battington's Harmony and Horror series. I am really enjoying this now. Like, this is a seriously good story being told through VHS. The next episode looks to be the finale, so we are going to see what everything amounts to at that point. But I guess up until that point, you guys can comment your own ideas down below. Either right, guys, this is going to be it for this episode of Reacting to the Harmony in horror season one and i hope you guys did enjoy if you did why not drop me that like rating and hey if you're new around here why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here so thank you so much for watching this video guys of course if you did enjoy i will of course see you on the next one